Hello, hello, Nabuta Bloody Eyes here on the Antonia Bell server. I am standing in the Soft Paws Family Burrows. It is in an Everfrost summer home on the Kino side of the game. And the burrows were built by uh, Miss Bog Lily. And then the, the actual place, furniture placement and decorating was done by uh, Teensy, and she is also the owner of this home, Teensy. And that's spelled T E E N S Y. Is that correct, Miss Bog Lily? Oh, I forgot, Miss Bog Lily. I was sitting here talking, and I didn't have the control button put down, pushed down, and so you, <laughs> so the video could hear me, but you could not. I was just uh, verifying the spelling of Teensy's name as the homeowner. Is it spelled T E E N S Y? Yep, T E E N S Y. And apparently, there's two Teensies with an Everfrost portal on the Kino side, so you have to look for the S Y one. Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. And, and as you all know now, by now, Miss Bog Lily is with me, and she's going to take us on a tour. Now, I have to tell you, we've already been through here once. And halfway through the tour, I didn't realize it, but my broadcast software crashed. So we're starting the video over again. So, you know, I may not be quite as amazed as I sounded the first time. <laughs> all right, Miss Bog Lily. It's still a cute house. It is adorable. I love this. Okay, Miss Bog Lily, I'll let you take it away. Okay, so this is supposed to be the long forgotten entrance of the Kinos catacombs. And what I tried to do, uh, do was combine the EQ1 Kinos with the EQ2 Kinos. And if you remember, in EQ1, Kinos was really blocky and kind of square. Um, so upstairs we have where the rest of the catacombs are. And you see my door to the guild hall up there. Absolutely, which every house should have. And I think this is awesome. Love this whole little trapdoor thing. Love it. Yep, and you can climb the ladder too. <laughs> yep, and if you were wearing a skirt, we'd see right up it, but you're not. You're wearing pants. I'm wearing pants. Good thing, because <laughs> I don't think there's be much to see up there. <laughs> <laughs> and so this is their courtyard, and I made the pond kind of deep so she could add fish to it later on very groovy and oh I pointed out like yep. earlier I just want to point this out again the ceiling I love the ceiling because it is awesome yeah that took a whole lot of cloudy tiles to do and Teensy was very patient she had to wait till the moonlight grotto and grind root beer after root beer after root beer to get all of those oh my goodness yes I can imagine <laughs> In fact, a lot of these items come from the, the grottos, so she must have been just grinding all day for two days. Yes. Okay, now when we came through here before, you were talking about how difficult it was to figure out how to build the burrows, so I'll, uh, I'll have you retell that story. Yeah, um, I don't know if there's a way to get the circle tool to do sideways circles. If there is, I haven't figured it out. So what I did was I laid one half of the burrow by hand and then I used the layout editor to mirror it on the other side. And then for the grassy uh, patches that you see all over the place, that was more of a put and guess. I think it should go there. No, that doesn't re look right. Let me move it over there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can imagine. And I would just like to point out, which I didn't actually when we came through before, is I love how you put these, the grassy, you know, the little shaped grassy tiles, like, on these to make it look like moss was growing up the side. I think that's awesome. Yeah, um, I didn't put that up there at first, and then Teensy mentioned it looked a little too crisp, and then I, I said, you know what, I, I can fix that. Uh, yeah. So I did. Awesome. Well, it looks awesome. And this one is a Rascal and Tiana Softpaw's home. And who did you say this was? The brother-in-law or something? It's either her parents or her parents-in-law. Um, she doesn't have any books out yet. She said she was going to put those out once she was done. Okay, Groovy. And what I wanted to do was give it kind of a dated feel. And when I think of the 70s, because, you know, I grew up then, um, I think pattern carpets and wood paneling and <laughs> earth tones and right oh 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 but uh, not bitsy uh bog lily do you know what would be hilarious is if they had shag carpet in the game wouldn't that not be just so amazing oh i would totally have put that in here <laughs> <laughs> i would totally just floored the place in shag carpeting yeah. we had in my home the ugliest 
shag carpet, and it had brown and blue and green and yellow in it. Oh, and, but it was Lord. mostly brown. Oh, good Lord. All right, this is Rascal Softpaw, and he says, Tiana, where did today's copy of the Kenosian Inquirer go? He looks blind. Do you think he's blind? I don't know. Maybe the maybe the Kenosian oh, Inquirer comes question. in Braille? <laughs> <laughs> maybe. And I love that she chose the Vell Briarwood furniture, because my parents still have the same furniture set that they had back in the 60s, and it's this huge, blocky wood furniture with these plaid cushions on them. Oh my goodness, yes. I remember that kind of furniture. Ugly as sin. And here we have Miss Tiana Softpaws, who says, You shouldn't be reading that garbage anyway, you rascal. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like she's cooking, but she doesn't have a stove yet. Oh, so yeah. she's, in, she's cooking on an invisible stove. There we go. There you go. That, that works for me. It's a magic stove. It's magic. His magic. And she has the Oak Miss piano here, which I love because it looks just like a piano that I used to have when I before I moved to Washington. I had to, to give it to my mom before I moved because it was so heavy. Yes, and that makes me so sad. That makes me sad for you. But at least it's still, you know, well, your mom has it, so. Yeah, mom has it, and if I ever move back to Mississippi, I'll have it again. Yeah. Oh, are you actually from Mississippi? Because you don't have an accent. I am from Mississippi, um, and then I moved to Washington because I got a really good job over there, and that was my period of time when I was going to try something other than role-playing a teacher in real life. I see. And uh, I wound up going back to teaching, uh, but I lived in Washington for seven years, and then I moved back to Mississippi for a year or two, and then I, um, and that was to take care of my grandparents who were over in Louisiana. We were like an hour away from them. <coughs> And then I moved to Arizona, and I married my husband. So, Very nice. Oh, what year did you guys get married? Uh, last year, actually. So, oh, wow. That's that's cool. So you're kind of still a newlywed, huh? Yeah, we're kind of still newlyweds. Um, he, he's been awesome. He, he makes me chai at night, and he cooks oh. dinner, and he washes dishes. And oh, how he's nice. He's great. And you decorate the house, right? Yep, I decorate the house. <laughs> He's actually not a bad decorator either. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah, so I put the uh, mossy tile up here, too, to look like the same carpeting as down below. And she's already decorated it. And we have our wonderful uh, marketplace items here. What, who Player made these me? again? Margaret Delaney created these? Yeah, Margaret Delaney, which I really like this wooden tub. I think I might buy it for some of my houses. I do. I like this set as well. It's very, it's very cool. It's groovy. And it looks like Tiana is a weaver. It Look does. at all the fabric. Yeah, no kidding. She should make me a dress because N- Nabuda needs to have a nice dress. Yeah, she can make me some new clothes. I'm not a clothes <laughs> hog in real life, but in EQ2, I have bags and bags full of clothes. <laughs> that's the same with me like I'm happy wearing my jeans and like Walmart sells these like shirts that are like $4.88 and I have like I don't know 15 or 20 of those and I just wear those all the time unless I'm going to do something you know important or whatever <laughs> my sneakers my jeans yeah, and my four dollar shirts dollar jeans. <laughs> I, I have to dress professional because no like I said I'm right, a, a teacher. teacher in real life yeah. Well, so, um, I only have three pairs of jeans, but I wear them every weekend. <laughs> yes. Well, I am. Um, I uh, I'm I'm a certified medication aide, so I wear scrubs to work, so I don't have to like wear any kind of clothes. So when I'm not at work in scrubs, I'm wearing jeans and my little four and a half dollar shirts and sneakers. That's what I'm in. Okay, so this is a uh, Teensy's burrow, and it's supposed to be the newest of the three burrows, so it's not yet lined in stone, it's still covered in dirt, and it was dug too shallow, so they planted briars to form the roof, and I think <laughs> that's the correct story. Yeah. Groovy. <laughs> so we're going to go in, and you were saying this looked like um, the entrance to... Black uh, burrow, uh, Yes. Like if you stand yeah, right here. and it does. It does. You stand right here in first person, and you look, and the, like you're totally in Blackboro. I mean, it's almost, you know. And I didn't think about that when I was making it. She just told me that the entrance had to be really narrow and made of dirt. <laughs> so. Yeah. Well, it totally looks like Blackboro. 
It's awesome. It does. Okay, so in here is Teensy's living room and kitchen, and she's already decorated her burrow. And it looks so pretty. Very cool. Yes, I like it. She added curtains, and I like her stove. I'm stealing that. <laughs> Yeah, Very so nice. I wonder what the story is going to be for these covered chairs here. I'm anxious to see it when she puts these books out. Yeah, I'll have to come back when she's done so that I can know the story and everything. Is she a role player? Does she role play? Yeah. Yes, she does. Um, she's kind of new to the server. Um, she was from Luke and Delaire as well. Oh, okay. And, uh, so, oh. yeah, she, she role plays. I want to point out these walls. Like, when we were in here earlier, like, I didn't realize it at first, but, like, on the way out, I kind of realized that these are not tiles, these are rugs. The long, baneful rug that look like this. Yeah, yeah they're uh, Knights of the Dead rugs, and they're really pretty. And then um, those are hedge seeds up there, which are also from Knights of the Dead, and uh, canary stained glass squares. Yeah, I love those Those uh, canary stained glass. I love those. They're pretty. Uh, yellow is my favorite color, so I jumped at the chance to use it in here. Oh, nice. Nice little bedroom going on here. And then, yeah, nice little bedroom and the tapestry that you are so fascinated with. Oh, yes, right. I got to make sure to get that again because I love this tapestry right here. And, and we determined it probably came out with, um, uh, what was it, Age, Age of Destiny? Or Chains of Eternity. Or Chains of or Eternity, it, right. it was the one with the Ethanir. Right. Because, uh, yeah, she she drops dead while you're talking to her during a quest. That's awesome. So. <laughs> and then her little garden that she asked me to do because she can't gather dogwood yet. And, uh, and we see it's some supposed to look like the through. bottoms of the briar tree. Very cool. So I'm anxious to see if she's going to add to it or not. That's cool. Yep. Yeah. And I then the third and final burrow, I don't know if it's her sister or her sister-in-law or something like that, but it's a whole family of Ratanga, and the husband is supposed to be like a stonemason, so it's a really nice burrow. Groovy. Okay, let me get a whole shot of it here. Alrighty. And Colby and Saria, I had trouble pronouncing that the first time too, Saria Softpaws and Scamps soft burrow. And I thought Scamps was the son, but apparently Scamps is the uncle. Okay. Yeah, we, we learned that when we were going through, and, and she has actors in here. Yes. So <laughs> they're really cute. Yeah, you guys are going to get a kick out of these actors. Okay. So Colby Softpaws in the middle here. He says, Tia, how many times have I told you not to dress your brother like a girl? Drags his hand down the sides, down his face and sighs. Maybe moving into Uncle Scamps' room isn't a bad idea. And Jerry Softpaw says, Can I please, please, please have my own room? They tied bows on me this morning. I can share with Uncle Scamps. I won't mind. I won't get into his stuff. Promise. And then I need to get close to Tia. Oh, Tia Softpaw says, Nah, -uh, we didn't tie any bows on our baby brother. He's lying. <laughs> That's so awesome. Oh, wait, right around the corner here. And then I was fascinated with her kitchen. Yes. I just loved her kitchen. Yes, it's nice. And hold on, I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. I just want to point this out. S Uncle Scamps, Softpaw, says, chokes on his coffee. No, sharing my cough room would be bad. You aren't seriously going to let him move into my room, are you, Squeaks? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm wondering if Squeaks is like a nickname for Colby. It must be. It must be. Okay, yes, and Bog Lily was really fascinated by the stove here. So we'll point out what this was made of. Yeah, this is another idea that I'm totally stealing. I mean, borrowing. <laughs> yeah, this was made of the fireplace, which you can see right here. There's the fireplace with this stove inside of it. Very nice. Oh, very creative. Yes. And I like that black stove. I too. like it's this really kitchen. Pretty. I could totally spend a lot of time in this kitchen. It looks nice. It does. It's a nice kitchen. I like it. And then we have the master room over here. 
have those uh, burnished tiles that you like so much in my atrium. Yes, I love them. That's my favorite thing. I wish we could craft them because <laughs> they're awesome. I wish we could craft them too. They're so pretty. Yes, they are. And there are other items in you, the game that have that same bring finish them on big. them. When you bring them up really big, they have these little swirly patterns on them. It's so pretty. Yeah, very cool. I like them so much. I am sad that we can't craft them, though. Ah, no. Okay, and then the spiral stairs. It was supposed to be a tunnel spiraling up to the top, but it used too many tiles, and they poked at it at odd angles. So until we get triangle tiles, I'm not sure how I can do that. So yeah. instead, I made it a spiral staircase. And this works too. Yeah, it, it it actually works really nice, and it goes into I think this is Uncle Scamp's room. Oh yeah, yeah, it probably is. It's got a big giant claymore in it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. You are probably correct. And this would be the kids' room, and I'm anxious to see what she does with the giant candy corn. Yes. Okay, here we go. So. Anna Softpaw says, Mom, can you buy us new ribbon? We ran out this morning. And Saria Softpaw says, Already? What happened to the ribbon I bought you last week? And Bog Lily pointed out, Yeah, they probably used it all on the baby brother. <laughs> yeah, because he was complaining about those. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. Okay, now what are the walls in here? I didn't check these out when we were in here uh, before. These are carpets. Oh, that's the backs of those rugs. Cool. Yeah, the backs of the rugs are white. I would used these, um, well, I actually used the high heat version of these on Beverly's home. And Beverly, I think, is Teensy's main or she's Teensy's alt or something like that. And she really liked it, so she wanted that in here, too. That's groovy. Well, they look good. I like those as walls. They work well. Yeah, they do. Hopping down the stairs. Do 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 do. <laughs> Very cool. So this is uh the soft paws family burrows. And because the door is covered out and you have to use that little bitty window with a green arrow <laughs> to get out. <laughs> right. Okay. Oh, and this is not listed. I'm going to point that out because we realized that earlier when I was trying to vote and realized I couldn't. That it's not yet listed on the leaderboard, so it's not published. Is it still? It, it is open to visitors, though, obviously, right? Or is it? Yeah, she has opened it to visitors. Um, she just hasn't published it because she's still working on it. Right, because it's not so. done. Okay, groovy. All right, well, we're going to call this the end of the video, and we're going to go on to another home, and Miss Boglily will be there with me also. So we'll see you, we will see you guys shortly.